run through a um, how we calculate the correct camshaft using controlled induction basic. So when the screen pops up on your computer, you'll, you'll, this will pop up, this menu. You'll go to the brand of engine. So here we will, uh, we're going to do an LS, so we're going to select Chevy. Engine type, V8. Engine family, with the arrow you drop down, and we're going to do an LS with a 1X cam gear. Now, what type are we doing? What are we doing with the engine? The street, street strip, mud bog, off-road, marine pleasure. So we will include, and there'll be pop-up menus just like you saw that it will not let you choose the wrong thing. So the street strip, we're going to have no power adders with this. Fuel type, we're going to be pump gas, which we put in the octane level that we're going to use. Uh, operating range, so where your peak horsepower, where you want this calculated. So you'll input that and your desired peak torque. Engine bore size. The stroke that we're going to be using in the engine. The rod length. Piston to deck and the compression ratio. Rocker ratios, being it's an LS, we're going to use 1.8. Valve sizing, cylinder head type, which of course is going to be aluminum with the LS, and then we're going to put the runner volume in the cylinder head that we're using. Minimum cross-sectional area, which most cylinder head companies can give you today. If you can't get it, uh, a set of snap gauges and about five minutes of your time, and you can calculate that yourself. You'll also put in the port flow. There's multiple websites that have the flow information on cylinder heads and you can use that database or if, which is even better if you have the actual flow numbers on your heads. Once you're done there, you go to the lifter size, which uh, we have all the popular lifter diameters that we have in the industry. Most LSs are going to be running a 700 wheel, so it'll be a low profile selected for a 700 wheel to decrease the intensity. And intake type, so you got your header primary size, and your collector size. And we even note down here, if it's marine, we'll calculate what, what type of manifold is in it and where the water actually dumps in and meets the exhaust. After you've inputted all this data, you simply hit the button calculate. And the camshaft will come up. So we know the recommended camshaft intake lobe is master number 10364 and the exhaust lobe is 10631. These masters are generated from our library, which includes almost 5,000 hydraulic rollers and almost 10,000 solid rollers. The information for the camshaft and what you're going to be looking at and the cost of the product comes up. Over here, these are recommended components that we suggest that you would run with this application. So we have the lifters, the valve spring kit, the timing set, and then whether it's a, a cathedral port or a square port, we actually do the intake. Then all of this is totaled so you know exactly what this is going to cost you. So saving you time looking up this component and all these components to go along with this camshaft, we do it for you. Simply then you hit create PO and that PO file is sent to email to us. We go ahead and input the data, call you. Uh, place the order. We go ahead and get your information and your credit card number. And 10 days later, you got a complete camshaft kit. It's, it can't be any simpler than that, guys. What a day, what a day, what a day. Uh, yeah, my brain, my brain is swollen. I've learned so much today. They told us, don't start cars. We are not going to listen.